our class of 2021 graduate.
this obstacle. When we all persevered together, we worked together, we helped each other, and we got through this time. Parent, it was an honor to work with your kids for the last four years. The graduating class, you did it. You put your nose to the grind. You had the grit. You stayed with it. You had discipline. You logged in every morning, no matter how you felt. You were tired. You were sleepy, but you still logged on. You still listened to the teachers. You still gave them everything that you There's a quote that I have here in athletics, discipline. Discipline, to me, is doing what needs to be done. What it needs to be done, even if you don't feel like it. And that's what you guys did this year. You had discipline. You, you had to do what needed to be done in your classrooms, your assignments. When it needed to be done, when you turned your computers on, when you had tutor day, and even if you didn't feel like it, you still hung in there. You ran your race, you finished your race, you played your game, you finished the game till the buzzer went off. They say the world is run by those who show up, and you showed up this year. You are responsible for your growth and your success. To earn more, you have to learn more. The world is waiting for you guys. I commend you guys for getting through this year. Now it's time to rock and roll. Welcome all here tonight to the parents. You know, I've been here for 35 years. I've taught some of your parents. And I have seen children graduate and become doctors, engineers, teachers, warriors. Hopi also has produced a Hopi judge. Hopi high, school, Hopi high school students have also gone on to trade schools, the military, and the workforce. We have all been successful. Hopi High School is a good, good school. It's a great school. I've been here 35 years. I've experienced it. I've seen it. And I commend you parents for sending your kids to Hopi High School and believing in Hopi High School, believing in our teachers, believing in our staff, our administration, our board members. That's a big thing, is believing. And I commend you parents for sending your kids. Hopi High is a great place to learn. I also would like to welcome our board members, Valerie, Kuyakwapiwa, President from Team Standard, Ms. Laurel Puliyasiwa, Vice President, First Mesa, Ms. Anita Manitua, Kurt, Second Mesa, Ms. Sandra Dennis, Member, Kotala, Makabe, Mr. Justin Hungiba, Member, Munkapi, Ms. Loretta Meyer, Member, Ekotsumubi. I'd like to also welcome our administration, Mr. Elvin Naha, our interim superintendent, Ms. Lynn Fredericks, High School Principal, Mr. Eric Greer, our athletic director. Uh, Ms. Lindsay Bahi, federal program director. Ms. Malcolm Martin, special education teacher. And I also like to thank Mr. Naha and Ms. Fredericks for making those tough decisions. They had to make tough decisions this year so the school can run smoothly, so we can get to this point here. And like I said, there was tough decisions to make. And I commend them for their great work. And now, we'll continue with our principals, or excuse me, our welcome address. It will be given by our three students, your class members. First one up, let's welcome Mr. Tyrell Rowland, senior. He will give his welcome in the Hopi language. Tyrell, very known as Awinma. We also know him as Ulitma. From the village of Sopalavi, Spider Clan. Parents are Stacy and Gabriel. Carol will be attending Fort Lewis College in the fall and will be a member of the Hopi, or excuse me, the Fort Lewis Cross Country Program. Mr. Tyrell, roll in, please.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Tyra Rowan, and my Hopi name is Awenma. I am from the village of Sapalave, and I am Spider Clan. I want to welcome all of our guests on behalf of my class to our graduation. We are all happy you are all here to celebrate our accomplishments with us. The class of 2021 welcomes you. It is good to see you all again after a whole year of not seeing each other. And that is what makes this day even more special. I know this year came with a lot of challenges that we all had to face and overcome. But with all of our efforts, discipline, and strength, we were all able to pull through and have become stronger together. And that's what matters the most, is that we all finally crossed the finish line and finish strong. Give yourselves a round of applause. Life is not always easy, and we will all experience many challenges in our lifetime. But remember that we are all strong. Keep moving forward each and every day and do everything with a happy heart. I pray that you will all continue to stay strong and be happy in all that you do in this life. Thank you for all supporting our, supporting our class. The class of 2021 welcomes you. Okay. Thank you, and good night to Mr. Terrell Rowland. Next up is Ms. Delilah Sosi Seeger. She will present hers in the Navajo language. Welcome, Ms. Delilah Sosi. Yate <laughs> Thank you, Ms. <coughs> so and, and now, now coming up will be Ms. Sierra Ramirez Singer. She will do hers in the Spanish language. Para completar 
lo estaría durante la pandemia. Ahora, respire el mundo y celebre su éxito. Lo más importante es que me a sus amigos y familiares se recuerde siempre ser usted mismo. Lo hicimos. ¡Viva las carreras! Muchas gracias. Good evening, family, students, staff, and guests. My name is Sierra Ramirez. I am Spider-Con from the village of Chewa, and I am also part Mexican. It is my pleasure to welcome you to our 2021 Hopi Junior Senior High School graduation ceremony. Thank you, staff, friends, and family for your encouragement and support. We couldn't have done it without you. To my fellow classmates, it is an honor to stand beside you today to share this special event in our lives. We have come so far and worked so hard through these times of constant stress with online school and staying up late to complete our assignments during the pandemic. Now, take a deep breath and celebrate your success. Most importantly, love your friends and family, and always remember to be yourself. And long live the races. Thank you so much. Thank you, Ms. Ramirez. And now to continue with the program, we will now call up our principal, Mrs. Lynn Fredericks, who will give the principal's address. Let's welcome Ms. Good evening, everybody. I'm so glad to see all of you here tonight and congratulations to our class of 2021. I am so happy and so proud of you, and it's so nice to see, see you all in our school again. You know, got very lonely because you're at the heart of everything. Uh, at the heart of all that we do is for you. And so I would like to recognize, it takes a lot of people to educate young people. It takes a lot of people to put on an event like this. Um, but I'd like to, as Ricky said, you know, I've taught here at Hopi High School for over 20 years. And, uh, and just over just the past three years or so, I've been an administrator in a different role. But as Ricky has said, Hopi High School is at the heart of, of everything that I do. And Hopi High School, we should be very proud that on our reservation that we have a great high school a great junior high school, Hopi Junior Senior High School, that's servicing our community. And so I'd like to recognize each of the groups here today that I see out there. I'd like to recognize the parents. Could you all please stand? How proud you are probably of your children for being successful, graduating, going to school for four years, quite an accomplishment. Us voted for all you do in, in being there for your children. Grandparents, can you stand up? Us voted who are out there who have taken the time to be there for the young people in the audience. Us Guardians. Those who have taken on a role to raise our young people in the community. As well as. And then at the heart of all that we do, our teachers and our staff and our aides who are there. I mean, it's a constant thing educating students, not only in the classroom, but being there as a guide, as a counselor sometimes. Uh, and students become close to these people who really care. And we have a wonderful group of high school uh, teachers who go beyond in trying to 
help our students here to be successful. So could I add uh, my teachers, aides, and staff who are part of the educational process, please stand. For, for all that you do, so much that you do. Um, those uh, teachers who are wearing the college regalia tonight, could you please remain standing? And as Ricky said, there's a lot of things I think the community doesn't understand of all of the things that we offer at Hopi High School. Um, Hopi High School is a national avid school. Uh, very few schools are national avid schools that are Native American schools, and we are. We're a certified national avid school. And what that means is that all that we do is to help prepare and get students ready for college. And as teachers, we try to model and be role models that if we can do it, you can do it too. And we want students to go on to college. We have Levon Junyoto, who's graduated from the University of Arizona. We have quality instructors in our school. We have Laverne Dallas, who's graduated from college. I mean, Laverne Lumakima, I'm sorry. <laughs> Laverne Lumakima. I think her, she's graduated from Arizona State University, right? Okay. And Jeanette Samia, we say Sangster, Samia, from college, is it NAU? Northern Arizona University. We have Mary Tawatani, who teaches art, graduated from Arizona State University, right? Okay. We have Dr. Melba Martin, who's graduated from Nova Southeastern University. And all of our teachers are, are well qualified. And uh, all of them have earned their degrees at various colleges. I know all of them probably do, don't have their regalia. But I want you to know that all of our, our teachers and staff, all qualified, highly qualified teachers that are teaching your students. Thank you, teachers. And I want to remind tonight, and, uh, uh, and I know also recognize Mr. Alvin Naha, who also uh, has uh, probably has his, or he does have his master's degree from Northern Arizona University. And I'm wearing my college regalia. I have my bachelor's degree in broadcast journalism from Arizona State University. I have a master's degree from Northern Arizona University in bilingual multicultural education. And I have a master's degree from Northern Arizona University in educational leadership. So we want to be the role models for you students. That dream high, dream big, you can do it. So, so thank you teachers uh, and uh, everybody who's here. I also would like to recognize the dignitaries who are here with us tonight, the governing board. We have also um, Lexi, who is one of our alumni here. We have the vice chairman and chairman who are here tonight, and they'll be recognized and be giving you a few words tonight. The governing board, board for all of their support, all of the things we want to do, they'll say, that's a good idea, let's do it. So thank you. Um, Hopi alumni. We, and I, I know I'm getting older because I've tired 20 something years and I have people coming up to me and, and probably in the audience I might have taught your parents. And uh, I, I saw Makario Nomoki um, over there. I taught him before, you know, so I'm uh, getting a lot older. Feeling it. <laughs> but uh, I'd like to have all the Hopi alumni stand up, um, those that are, have graduated from Hopi Junior Senior High School.
put on an event like this, and I'd like to thank all of the people involved. We have Rick Greer back there on the video. They always do multiple tasks sometimes. Uh, we have uh, some photographers on, on our staff. Um, IT has been running around. Facilities putting this all together. All of the teachers who are here on the day and they keep uh, trying to put everything uh, up for you. You know, we have a lot more work that we
us all day. But you did it. With every tear, I'm sure there were a couple of breakdowns. With every sense of laughter you had, we connected to the last night. With every one more solution, one more solution to go, one more task, one more feeling, one more paper, we all did it. generations back. So take pride in this moment. Take pride in the clothes that you are wearing. It's so beautiful to picture you all in your regalia. Imagine 50, 30 years ago, we wouldn't be able to do this. We wouldn't be able to celebrate our students, celebrate the clothes that we wear and that represent who we are. Take in this moment. It might not seem like a big deal right now, but years down the road, you'll realize I went through that. I wanted to do that. I wanted to just go with the town. But I walked with my graduating class and I walked across that stage and received that diploma. You all want to be magnificent human beings and leaders of your community, representatives of your clans and your families of your villages. I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet before I cry because I know a lot of you are saying so very proud. Go into the world. Make as many mistakes as you possibly can because those will make your some interesting stories with you. Enjoy the successes. Celebrate every milestone. Don't forget to love a lot lots of memories and remember who you are, your roots, and the people that you come from. Because you all come from strong roots, from natural plants. Congratulations, class of 2021. You all did it. Thank you, everyone. Thank you very much.
mistakes, but I, you know what? I just got back up. I tested myself off. I ran the next lap faster. Then I ran the next lap
to empower all students to maximize their individual potential by teaching them various strategies to implement in order to be successful in rigorous coursework. Our objective is to encourage all students to set goals and to be confident in their ability to achieve those ambitions. Students are taught academic objective
nervous all day today. But <laughs> in general, I just want to thank Mr. Irwin, Mr. Irwin over here, for teaching me this gift that I have.
Thank you to Christina Shukla for her great speech here. And now we're calling up our next salutatorian, the deeper address, Joylin Perry.
your speech here. Both emphasize to be yourself. And that is what your model is. And what I say is be a good loop in the world of humans. Be your own person. And now to continue. สุสัยเนี่ยไอ้ตะปักอาเสียสายเนี่ยดอกเนื้อพี่เนื้อตึกเพื่อตัวเต็มนี่เขาเนื้อมั้งมีกวักขวดตานี่มามันเต็มโต
Tanga umu katoele ono yaka. Yuk hakam umu kinai. Umu amotsbi anta yapu ita tovaot. Yang ka umu kati anga. Nat umu tata yomu. Yavok hakam nat umu umu kati hapi ang soon kakwilala tata. He the happy hack, um, a woe and captain. Yep, um, a navas young man. He talk um, a nias near Nakai, a person of Maka woe and a moon of a moon of Naka. He need you. So on Nala Nakan, he tang up to Makura. Hope he punk. So on Nala Nakan, he the Amorita. Panyok ita soso yam sinom yet so welcome he tang ita hincha puso. Hak sino hak ni tang he ta ao pite. Pan hapi ta nao muntan. Pan ita umunga muwan. Ni ka ovi payas hakam. Hupi kwa lumi tuat ito at ukwanta. Umui. Tuat yanuat pasiuna, sensei kehakap rumah itu kalah bayi ini yang, bayi mayat ini tiada yang kam, umur misi angka, kata bos, ni kango, bayi itu kita tuh kahana kacia kita yes, umur kanal beo naya ni, hat nami hi tahebe. Sayang anza as maksonin niya. Haki tanawag ne put hak owin. Yan na tuwat umunga wuwat kang umoy yanawat nabay o. Yung owyo is nene. Sulke haka. Luyo. Mayo. Naluyo. Yang umayat matfong sa. Uma api tete et hakam it umoy tete kai kapay sa apu chachay kaya lolo matapi mayesyo wupa kasi ng wat mayesyo sa naman sa hakat it it hakam iba yan wupa kasi matuwat umoy tete umanaw ang tagang yesyo kailan Graduates of 2021, first of all, a big thank you to all the parents, guardians, said was that I encourage all of you, take the ingredients, take the products of what you gathered here at Hopi Junior Senior High School. The legend, Mr. Baker, said it all perfectly. There is no one school that is perfect. There is no one education facility it is better than another, another school. It is always up to you. I remember those words from our coach. Mr. Baker and I belong to the same coach at Winslow High School. We are proud alumni of the Bulldogs. As you are proud alumni of the Bulldogs. Four, we have four children successfully finished from here.
right to practice the right of the educated give back to the people in the land. And I would say one of your educators, probably some of you had him, is Mr. Tanakumba, Michael. Jeanette Samia is also a graduate from Hope High School. So you have educators here that you should be very proud of. It's your own. It's not a One thing that I said to the administration is that give me that one last lap bus ride. They said no. We don't have buses that are six feet apart. So I couldn't ride the ruin bus down here one last time. That's been something that's a tradition here. But as you leave here, look at the clouds. Remember, this is your home. The mesas, the kivas, the plazas, the songs, the music, that is home. Boys, remember the fields. Remember your ranch. Remember your cultural duties. Don't forget that. Same applies for you. The native people don't forget that you belong here and they appreciate you for attending Hopi Junior Senior High School. It is a great place to learn. I was once a school board member here when we first started out. So, because we all walk in the same boots. I'm prior service too. So we walk together in a certain language that a lot of people understand. We are crazy. But thanks 
thanks to all the veterans that are sitting out in the audience. I know one individual that graduated from here, Mr. Namoki, Kadia Namoki. choice that I always tell people. If you want leadership skills, you want some kind of opportunity to learn, choose the military, but do not be a grunt. Don't go to the Marine Corps, because all they're going to do is give you a weapon and tell you to march. Choose another branch. But the Army is the greatest. Hoorah. But I want to thank you all, all joking aside, but that's how we are in the military. Regardless where you serve, we're all brothers and sisters, just like how you all are. So with this, I will read out the announcements for the two coastal memorials. It is my honor. I am proud and honored to present Ms. Christina Schupla with the co salutatory award for the class of 2021. All attending Obi High School, Christina has shown leadership, as she mentioned, with ROTC, citizenship, and respect. And while attending school daily, she was an active student, participated in various clubs and programs while attending Hopi High. I am very privileged and honored to present this high academic achievement award to you, Christina, as Victorian, on behalf of the Hopi High School Administration. The governing board, faculty and staff, and the Hopi people. Congratulations, Christina, on your hard work and achievement. Drives, a little bit of the student handbooks, and 
so forth, in the middle of the gatherings. And also, when we learn, don't forget your notes. Sanitize your notes. Because you don't know what that male partner may have touched. have donated from the First Baptist Church Pastor Park donated two iPads for the Coast of Lodicorium. I believe, I believe these backpacks will come in handy for their donation of the iPads and carrying class to class. Mr. Legend, Rick Payton, thank you for that uh, kind introduction. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, uh, I was a little nervous with the wind uh, here tonight and taking off my mask. Uh, I was hoping I wouldn't get with that my five chin because I was afraid it was going to sound like this when I took my mask off. And stuff. But thankfully, thankfully, it died down just a little bit so I can get uh, this presentation out. So I'm real honored uh, to be presenting the award to not only one, but two valedictorians. Wow, it'd be amazing, right? Woo! Yeah, so I'd like to go ahead and call up uh, Ms. Delilah Sosi. Oh yeah, Sosi. Stand up, you recognize. Wow, wow. Come on up.
I am the great granddaughter of the late Jerome Gay Sr. and Mary Lou Lowe of New Mexico. Hi, my name is Delilah Sosi. I am Saltwater Clan, born for Tango Clan. My maternal grandparents are red running into Water Clan, and my maternal grandparents' grandfather is the Tarwing House. amazing and I am glad to have gained friends. Being a shy and determined student, I was able to create bonds I will remember with both students and faculty. The daily hour and a half bus drive one way coming from Navajo land was well worth the drive. Except for the washboard dirt roads and mud after rain and snowstorms are going through Burnside and all the way back again. The staff and faculty who have made the school safer and better, thank you. Thank you for encouraging the students to come back every day. To my bus driver, Elsie, thank you. Especially if we had to wake up early in the morning to get on the bus, a 13 mile dirt road, or all the way through Burnside. We were always laughing, having fun. And if she wasn't able, thank you to the other bus drivers who were able to go to Pinion and pick us up. So parents, guardians, grandparents, thank you for having your child or your relative come to school every day, even when they didn't want to, if they all had to chase the bus, or if you were too, if you were just getting mad at them because they missed it and you had to drop it off, drop them off. <laughs> I'm sorry. I would like to thank my parents for encouraging me, even through when they didn't want to come to school. Even if I missed the bus, I was always lectured from home through the dirt road through to here. If the road was muddy, I was always being rushed to go to a bus stop so I could get on the bus. I don't know how much money they spent on tools, parts for the vehicles because that dirt road was not good. <laughs> to my grandparents and Nollies, thank you for encouraging me and being there for me. Thank you for having my parents because without them, I probably wouldn't be here for the words of encouragement. And for my little siblings, thank you for letting me know I'm your role model. Because I didn't know that until today. My little sister, she came back from school. She said, oh, you still getting ready for your graduation? Oh, see, I remember today's Tuesday, you 
told me it was Tuesday, and she just kept following me everywhere around the house today. She's like, are you ready? Are you going? Are we going now? So glad I'm ready. She thought she was coming. She was so happy. She got dressed up. She fixed her hair and everything, but we dropped her off. <laughs> <laughs> And most of all, I would like to thank my great grandfather. I may have known him up to the age of five, but he raised my mom, gave her words, encouragement. She passed it down to me and my siblings. So wherever he is, that he's proud of me as a May all my other grandfathers and my other grandparents proud as being one of the first valedictorians in my family. <laughs> I would like to end my speech with a quote from Anatole France. To accomplish great things, we must not only act, but also dream not only plan, but also believe. Yeah. Okay, Inga, again. Ms. Sosi, that was an amazing job you just did. Uh, next person that we do want to call up, uh, co-valedictorian, is Miss Tisha Jim. I hope I said that right. We have a you know, little thing going on here. Just hope the names are hard to announce, but you know, I even get thrown a loop on some of these first things. So Miss Jim, uh, please come up. Ladies and gentlemen, co-valedictorian, Miss Tisha Jim. Let's do it for her. Wow. 
who made it through finals, writing essays one after another. <laughs> um, there are people here today, and I'm pretty sure, who are very proud of each and every one of you. And they give you advice, you know, like take that advice and do what you can with it because we're only young once and we really have to get through this race called life and it, it is really big. I've had a little bit of taste of it over the weekend and man, I don't know. <laughs> um, <clears throat> One day I would like to see each and every one of you achieve your dreams. Um, who knows, right? One day I might see Taylor, who's a big, big time lawyer out there. Um, <laughs> um, I might see Alvama as a huge artist, like drawing. I see all his drawings all over Facebook and I'm just like, wow, I wish I had that talent. Um, I can see Josie, who's a comedian on TV, because she's always making me laugh. <laughs> I can see Jackie being a professional skateboarder one day. <laughs> I always see all her tricks and stuff on Instagram, so I'm like, dang, that's really cool. I wish I had that balance. <laughs> um, or Isabel, who could one day be a potential business owner. You know, like the possibilities are endless. Some of us might not take the road to college, but obviously that is okay. Some of us, like the chairman said, the vice oh, chairman, he said either military or workforce, whichever path you take is definitely okay. Um, you know, we are really top-notch students in my opinion. <laughs> because going through the pandemic and just getting through this whole online school, I knew nothing about computers or anything. I never really used one. So this school year was really new for me. <laughs> um, uh, I would like to honor Miss um, Lawton because she was always so proud of me and every one of you guys here who might have known Miss Lawton. Um, she, and she's here in spirit, I know she is, because she always was excited. She was like, oh my God, you guys are going to graduate soon, my babies. <laughs> and I always keep that in the back of my mind, like, I really want to make her proud, because she made me really proud. Um. <laughs> Um, I want to thank my parents, who have never given up on me, who go always on my tail about every assignment, you know. And get it in on time, don't be slacking, no procrastination, nothing like that. So, it really paid off, thank you, mom and dad, and um, my aunt who was there for me for this whole pandemic, you know, like the internet wasn't so great out here, everything was just, out of hand and so I went to New Mexico for a couple of months and did some online schooling there from home and it was a long couple couple months. <laughs> um, to my uncle who has always been my backbone with my hand and everything and he's always been a big motivation for me. And um, I wanted to thank my grandma and my grand my grandpa who always telling me, you know, like, you can do whatever you want in life, you can, you can set your mind to it, and you can do it, and I believe that for everybody, just motivation and dedication will really take you a long way, because we're here today celebrating our class of 2021, um, I want to give a big shout out to my best friends, um, Mia Namoki and Isabel Anzuris. Um, I know the assignments for us are stressful and all those late night video chats, staying up, having steady nights. <laughs> um, 
I love you girls with every bone in my body. Um, so thank you for calling me your friend, and I'm very proud to call both of you my friends. And I can't wait to see where you both go later on in the future. Um, thank you to all the staff at Hopi High School for all the hard work you've done for us. I know the janitor is keeping the restroom clean because us girls, we like clean things. And <laughs> and the kitchen staff um, for feeding us because I know us kids are always hungry and always bringing snacks to school and big old bag of hot Cheetos in our backpack. <laughs> um, thank you to um, the principal, Miss Fredericks, for the advice you've given us um, every year during an assembly. Man, those assemblies were very long, weren't they? <laughs> I know each and every one of us here experienced at least five of those assemblies. And man, we were just sitting there listening to her. And so, okay, okay, then walk out of the auditorium. <laughs> um, um, uh, wherever you you, my fellow classmates, go later on throughout the year. You know, whatever goals you have set, you guys keep on going. Like I said, we really are a really smart class to be here and get through all these hardships and whatnot. But um, if anything, um, you guys need a friend or someone to help you with homework. I'm your gal. <laughs> I'm always there helping people with homework, so don't be shy to contact me on Instagram, Facebook, whichever one. I'm always there to respond. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys all for coming out and to celebrate it with us. You know, graduates ex embrace this moment, and now we have all this big time adult responsibilities. <laughs> Thank you for those amazing words, Taisha. Let me correct that. Uh, I asked Mr. Baker, the legend, and uh, Mr. Naha, and I think they might have played a joke on me. I'm not sure. But <laughs> I know we all have those difficult names out here at Hopi, so um, you know, thank you for those words. And um, with your permission, I, I'd like to share a couple words. OK, thank you. Thank you. Um, first thing I just want to say, we're having a good time with this tonight, but when we take them home and the kids, grandkids, nephews, and nieces get a hold of them, the next couple of days, we're in trouble. You know, until it accidentally breaks, if you know what I mean, and stuff, you know. <laughs> but, uh, I'm going to say, 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 Man, amazing job, guys and gals. Um, welcome the administration, faculty, staff, esteemed members of the board, um, all those that are present here today, um, parents, proud parents, proud relatives and loved ones. Uh, I know we're here in limited capacity, but I imagine there's a ton of uh, those that are celebrating your accomplishments and uh, zooming in on YouTube. Um, a lot of us probably couldn't figure that out, so I'm sure a lot of them turn to the younger generation and help them, you know, figure that out. So I think that's pretty amazing. But um, I know we've spoken about this in the life of the A lot of you that have spoken already have really spoken a lot of uh, good words and encouragement as you guys reach this platform of your high school career. And I know it's been a tough year. And I can't even imagine, as students, what you all have been through. But to be sitting here tonight, despite you know some of the wind gusts that we've had, I think this is one of the most beautiful nights I've experienced since March of 2020 when the pandemic hit. And to be here sharing it with you all tonight, it just makes it that much more special for me. So thank you for allowing me to be a part of your celebration here tonight. Out here at Hopi, culturally and as a people, we've survived 
since the beginning of time. And a lot of that survival is based on that resilience. But what makes it resilient? The resiliency comes in the form of optimism, hope, prayer. Never giving up, even dealing with what you're being dealt. We're currently experiencing a drought out here at Hopi. But that doesn't stop us from going to the fields, putting our corn in, and seeing our other crops through. Now, if you're able to harvest some corn, watermelon, enough to feed your family, that hard work, that muscle, produces those rewards. And I see that same thing being done with you students. You were dealt something that you had no control over. But that education, that component was received. And to work hard at grooming and nurturing your education, your studies, despite all these broadband network issues, You've nurtured your education components. Through that muscle, through your hard work, sitting here tonight, being recognized for those achievements, that's your rewards. And if you apply some of those principles, and you don't just have to be Hopi. Whenever you're here on Hopi, that just becomes a part of you. So moving forward, if you're able to apply some of those principles, it can take you down the path of success a long, long way. You will run into obstacles, but that resiliency that what you've proven to the world to be here tonight, remember those things that will help you move forward. I also think that you all here have been given a certain gift. That gift that I'm talking about is proof that you can succeed in times of hardship. So as you move forward, you've all made history, working through something that I never thought in my generation and others that are maybe older than me would think that we ever have to deal with. The gift that you have is to share this experience with others that may be struggling even in better times. So the gift that you have, I'd like to ask you guys to continue to use it to encourage and inspire others that are coming behind you all that might face these challenges. That's a gift you all have, a memory of something that nobody else has dealt with. And that's part of this chapter of your life. So I know a lot of you are going on to your next step in life. <laughs> and I can't help but to think that you guys will probably maybe go off to secondary education, military, as Dr. Sherman talked about, uh, trade school and other places, and you may run into people that live in the city, and you'll probably hear, hear them go, uh, you don't even know, our internet was so slow. <laughs> I can see some of you guys probably just roll your eyes, but you don't even know the half of it. And we had to de de deal with delays on the internet, no connectivity, so <laughs> I, I, I'd be interested to be a fly on the wall hearing that conversation go on, but uh, it's true. But I'm, I'm excited about this whole evening, and I'm really looking forward at the bigger appreciation. I think we all are, so I don't want to waste any time. I just want to get to the presentations. And um, I, I do have the honor of presenting, again, not one but two co-validatory awards. Uh, the first one I am proud and honored to present is Ms. Delilah Sosi, 
the co-valedictorian award for the class of 2021. Let's hear it from the associates. While attending Hopi High School, Lila has shown leadership, citizenship, and respect while attending school daily. Ms. Sosi was an active student and participated in various clubs and programs while attending Hopi High. Again, I am honored and privileged to present this high academic achievement award to you, Delilah, as co-valedictorian on behalf of the Hopi High School administration, the governing board, faculty and staff, and the Hopi people. Congratulations, Delilah, on your hard work and achievement. Let's hear it for Ms. Sosi. Let's hear it again for co valedictorian and Ms. Stacy. Amazing job. And I promise I'll get this name right this time. Taisha Jim. <laughs> and uh, again, it's, it's my honor. I am proud and honored to present Ms. Taisha Jim the co-valedictorian award for the class of 2021. While attending Hopi High School, Taisha has shown leadership, citizenship, and respect while attending school daily. Ms. Jim was an active student and participated in various clubs and programs while attending Hopi High. And again, I am honored and privileged to present this high academic achievement award to you, Taisha, as co-valedictorian on behalf of the Hopi High School administration, the governing board, faculty and staff, and the Hopi people. Congratulations, Taisha, on your hard work and achievement. Let's hear it for Ms. Jim. And on behalf of Hopi High School and the Governing Board, uh, these two co-valedictorians will receive Dell computers. Thank you to our chairman, Mr. Tim Wanyama, and the two valedictorians, Ms. Taisha Jim and Ms. Delilah Sosi. Back in our days, we got typewriters. Remember that? How do you senior class know what typewriters are? Okay, so a little quick thing like this. Okay. But okay, now continuing on. Now we will do the class. Roll call. This will be done by Mr. John the Mabria, our registrar, and the presentation of the diploma by the governing board members. Summer Tiwa.
Aubrey Rain Harvey. Onawa Brianna Bigay. Taylor Reese Antone. Rainy Nizoni Elfie. Carly Jeray Chapella. Tanisha Desiree Wilson. Myra Deanne Molly. Karina Brooke Kalatika. Eden James Celestua. Devon Roger Kondogia. Josie Molly. Tysha Jim. Mia Lamoki. Isabel and Curtis. Sierra Noel Ramirez. Christina Shea Shupla. Alexis Poliestiwa. <laughs> Darius Wani. <laughs> Melinda Sue Lamaikiwa. Tyrell J. Rowland. Maybe Gordon. Lance, Lance Darren Coinba. <laughs> Jackie Sierra Thorpe. Delilah Nejoni Sosi.
Haley Nicole Dennis. Damien Begay. <laughs> Louis Lomayasva. <laughs> Erica Bernice Morningstar. Jenny Morningstar. Congratulations to the class of 2021. Good job, good job. There's money up here. Everybody wants that money. And now the recognition of the class of 2020, Mrs. Lynn Frederick, High School Principal. I am proud to recognize the class of 2020. We invited the whole class to come, but I know many have their own lives started, living elsewhere, in colleges, busy at work or starting their careers. We do have a few students who have made it and joined us tonight as our special guests. <laughs> Last May, the pandemic arrived and the safety of having an in-person graduation was not an option. We did have a drive-through event for those students, but these students did not have the opportunity to have a formal graduation where they walk to receive, receive their diploma on stage. Graduation is an important memory and milestone. We hope by these students participating tonight that they get the chance to have closure and experience a full graduation ceremony. Congratulations. Give a clack, a round of applause to these alumni students. Mr. John Romaglia will read the names of the students who have attended from the class of 2020, and they will make their way onto stage. Congratulations, students, class of 2020. Isaac Kita Yazi. Shane Cassandra Domingo.
Now we will call up our interim superintendent, Mr. Albin Naha, for the presentation, class of 2021. That's an obvious one, yes. thank you. And you thought you were all done, but you have to go through me first, all right? So we're gonna make it official here in just a couple of minutes, but first uh, I'd just like to share a few words. And uh, good evening once again, graduating students, returning alumni, class of 2020, honorable chairman, Honorable but crazy Vice Chairman. He said it, I did. Hope Junior Senior High School Governing Board, School Administration, faculty, family, and friends. Thank you for joining us tonight in this joyous celebration of our high school graduating class. And I don't care what anyone says, tonight was a wonderful ceremony, wasn't it? The heat, the wind, didn't take anything away from tonight and this special moment and occasion. Remember, this is our home, right? And this is what we're all about. The wind, we're the home of the Mesas, the beautiful sunsets, the, the, the dirty, bumpy roads, right, Miss Sosie? So that's us, and that's home, and that's fine. We have to embrace that, right? Because Nowhere else is there like this in the world. And so it was kind of this was a symbol of how everything went in the last over a year since March of 2020. Started with a whirlwind, right? Everything's all over the place and we're kind of all discombobulated to now everything's calm and at peace and we see the light. We see the lights now, right? The light at the end of the tunnel. And, and boy, what a momentous night. And, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else right now because seated before you audience is the dedication of our seniors and our past class who have gone through so much. And we heard a lot of wonderful words just from the heart. Really, I think this takes on a different meaning. It's not just a ceremony, right? This is something more. This is family. This is home. This is something that's a little bit more precious than what we thought was just gonna be of walking across the stage tonight. When the wind was all blowing, you know, the vice chairman got all glittery. You should see his suit in the back. The balloon, it looks like he was ready to do a drag show or something. It was all full of glitter and everything. It looked really sharp, it really looked really handsome. So, and then if you saw the banner come across my, my, my chest, it almost it was like a sash. I was like, oh, Mr. Hopi. I was like, oh, let's see you got competition now. And I was all excited, but then I looked down and just said, congrats. And that probably meant congrats for gaining 25 pounds over the last year. So, well, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> but boy, it, it calmed down and it's giving you such a beautiful night to end this night. And we're gonna end this night with honoring you as our graduating class, another graduating class of Hopi Junior Senior High School. And the beginning of the year, you know, there was a lot of tough decisions for you, you know. I, I um, had a son who graduated last year, he didn't get to go through his graduation except through a car. And, uh, you know, and I know you weren't able to experience prom I'm so happy that we were able to do this for you. And it's because of us as a community working together. You heard out there in the news, maybe you read it, social media, we're at 0% positivity rate over the last 14 days. And that's because we did this as a community. <laughs> through the efforts of our tribal government, our chairman, vice chairman, and all the individuals that played a role schools, the local elementary schools, everyone pitching their part in, the messages getting out there. We're at over 90% vaccinated as a school for you students, according to the survey that was out there. Same for our staff. That's amazing. That's about a community working together, coming together because we, we had to do it, right? The sacrifices that we had to make.
And so, gosh, I was thinking a couple weeks ago already in advance what I was going to say tonight. And then um, one night as uh, my hunger got the best of me and I was looking for a midnight snack, you know, like gaining those pounds, uh, I saw this on the fridge and I was gifted this at the beginning of the year by a, a vendor that we use for our staff for benefits. And I got this uh, sent in a package to me. And I put it up on my refrigerator, not really, you know, I read it and put it up there. And, uh, about a month ago, I really saw this, and it really hit home. Uh, it, it's, it's a quote, I looked it up where the quote was from, it's from Vivian, Vivian Green. And she wrote here, and this is, what it's, this is what it is, and it says, Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning how to dance in the rain. And boy, did that symbolize the day, but it symbolized the year, it symbolized what we've gone through, and you know, even to, you know, everything happens sometimes. It's just, storms happen. Not, we're not just talking in the literal sense, but you know, what we face with this pandemic, what we all had in terms of our hardships that I heard, and I felt the emotion from all of you. And we have to learn that those things will happen in our life. I think your valedictorian said it best, it's not easy. You're going out there and it's not uh, sometimes a lot of fun. You kind of get hit with that brick wall sometimes. And that's just what life is. Sometimes there's a storm. But we can't just let life stop. We have to gather ourselves, get a little bit smart about it, and then we gotta remember to keep on living. We gotta keep on remembering to enjoy life. You were given this blessing of life, all of us. We're all here for a purpose. You may not know what it is. I don't even know what I'm here for. But the thing is that you were blessed with this beautiful life. And you got a lot of people out there, your family, your teachers, your relatives, your friends, who love you very much. And you are that blessing. You are our future. And you are powerful. So you've got to remember, life goes on. Today is your day to celebrate. You don't have to feel guilty about anything. Yes, you got to remember the past. You got to remember what happened. But we also, this is your day to smile, to sit up with pride, and to go, you know what? I earned this. And you're darn right you did. That was you. And we are all here to celebrate. And it's okay to smile, it's okay to dance. I heard someone wanted to do a soul chain dance down the aisle here. Should have brought my bell bottoms. You know, and that's what we got to do. We got to celebrate. Be happy. You know, those are the things that you give us this energy, this life, when you have that smile. Don't let life overburden you so much. Embrace it. Embrace those tough times. Like someone said, you're going to have great stories. Let's see, talk about it. You're going to have great stories to tell later on. Those are the best stories when things don't go well. And sometimes they're a little mixed with a little bit of sadness, but you are beautiful. You are our creator's creation. You are anything you want to be. The world is yours. And so, celebrate today, guys. Dance in that rain. Dance in that storm. And continue to live your life. Be grateful. Be humble. Do things with a good heart. Because that's what will get you to anything. So, my beautiful seniors, congratulations. I'm so glad to see you all. It's been a long time, right? And make sure you, 
I actually ate a bug. Can you know? <laughs> they probably told me get get there, right? Get done. So I'm gonna get done. No, that's a that's a symbol to say stop. So But you, you see that though? that's life though, see that's you gotta even embrace that. That's protein right there. So hopefully that's a science lesson for you all. So without further ado, congratulations class of 2020. Let's make this official, okay? All right, ready? It is my pleasure to be here and establish that this 15th day of June 2021 commencement exercise is represented by a certificate which states that the students standing before you today have completed a course of study in accordance with the requirements of the Arizona Board of Education and the Governing Board of Education of Pope Junior Senior High School and is therefore awarded this diploma. Graduates, you may now take that tassel and move it over to the other side. Ladies and gentlemen, by the authority expressed in me by the Governing Board of Education and Hopi Junior Senior High School, I proudly present to you the Hopi Junior Senior High School graduating class of 2021. Oh, no hot throat? Oh. <laughs> there we go. All right. Celebrate. Dance in that ring, guys. Congratulations. From where we began Hey, congratulations to the class of 2021. That was good on Mr. Uh, Maha's speech there, talking about uh, protein. He's talking about losing weight. That's a good way to lose weight, eat that protein. He also mentioned about bell bottoms. That's during Mr. Chairman, Cartanaco in our days, man, we were cool. We were cool. <laughs> okay, now to Andy. And this evening, we will now do the benediction. Please all rise. The benediction will be given by me, Mr. Rick Baker. I am from First Mesa. I am Itewa. And I will give the benediction in my language. Can you please? Oh, uh, remain standing. Na igoi, kunda koi, let na eki di gida. Oh, di ho, let na na di ye. Oh, yo di bit o kan na di. Oh, yo in di mo di ho. In di di na gida hi kiam po ay. Ye di wo da in di wo che to mai. Oh, ye se no che kui o che te. Oh, yo ham di bit kan di ho mi. In the world, the Hamai, Tayet, the Kobe, Kay, the Hamad, the Kobe, the Nang Hamba, indeed the Hamanai, indeed the Ne, the Kayo. Did you order the Ne? If you are to eat it, eh, did it all? We can't get paid, we for the ho, the Mai, and be Tada, Yea, Tate, Sayani, and be a year. Eh, did Hamai, oh, your Hamai to one me, oh, your Hamai to one me. Oh, your Hamai, what that eh, did he, and do what he, Taye, Hamane, did that for me. Say, no, say, we ought to say, oh, your Ibi can't be who me. The young Kinang Hama, he did not do it, oh, your Mohammai, do what he, Hamai, then a mummy. The young Kinan, a mummy, for crying, good up. Okay, that concludes our celebration for tonight, our graduating class. We are very, very proud of you. You are now alumni of Hopi High School. You are now a Bruin. Once a Bruin, always a Bruin. Good night. Stay quick. Parents, you need to see the walk through the steps, come around the road, and meet the, your child uh, behind the visitor's uh, stadium. And thank you. Be safe. Wear your mask, stay distant, and sanitize. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Yeah. I'll leave it hooked up for now. I'll leave it hooked up for now.